Welcome to RE the Explorer's Life and Learning Hub, your go-to space for all things health and lifestyle. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic, the menstrual cycle and ovulation. Let's start with the basics. Menstruation is the body's natural process where a woman sheds the lining of her uterus, commonly called a period. It's a sign that the body is functioning as it should. The beginning of the cycle is a lifetime of preparation. When a baby girl is born, her ovaries are already stocked with hundreds of thousands of eggs. These eggs stay inactive until puberty, when hormones signal that it's time to start the menstrual cycle. Most girls get their first period about two years after developing their breasts, between ages 10 and 15, though everybody follows their own schedule. The menstrual cycle is like a biological symphony, controlled by powerful structures in the brain, the pituitary gland and the hypothalamus, which produce complex hormones that stimulate the ovaries to produce female sex hormones. These hormones start and control the menstrual cycle until menopause, typically around age 51. The menstrual cycle runs through several phases controlled by a complex network of hormones. Phase 1 the menstrual phase between days 1 to 7 this is from the first day of bleeding lasting anywhere from 3 to 8 days the body sheds the thickened uterine lining since no pregnancy has occurred phase 2 the follicular phase between days 1 to 14 at this time the pituitary gland in the brain releases follicle stimulating hormone FSH. This wakes up the ovaries, encouraging follicles to develop. Inside each follicle is an egg, but usually, only one matures. As the follicle grows, it releases estrogen, which thickens the uterus in case a fertilized egg arrives. Around day 12, estrogen peaks, preparing for the big event, ovulation. Phase 3 ovulation on day 14 here comes the main event a surge in luteinizing hormone lh causes the mature follicle to release its egg this tiny cell smaller than a grain of sand enters the fallopian tube and starts its journey toward the uterus interestingly during ovulation the body experiences a spike in testosterone which may increase libido nature's way of encouraging reproduction. If sperm is present in the fallopian tube at this moment, fertilization may occur. If not, the egg will dissolve within 24 hours. Phase 4. The luteal phase. Between days 15 to 28. After releasing the egg, the follicle transforms into the corpus luteum, a temporary gland that pumps out progesterone. This hormone maintains the uterus, keeping it ready for a possible pregnancy. If fertilization occurs, the corpus luteum continues producing progesterone to support early pregnancy. But if no sperm meets the egg, progesterone levels drop, signaling the uterus to start shedding its lining, and the cycle begins again. The menstrual cycle and your body a typical cycle lasts between 24 to 38 days, varying from person to person. And along with the bleeding, you may experience the following unpleasant signs. Abdominal or pelvic cramps. Lower back pain. Mood swings and irritability. Bloating and breast tenderness. Headaches and fatigue. Food cravings. Yes, that sudden chocolate obsession is real. Now, here are some final thoughts. Your menstrual cycle is a powerful, natural process that keeps your body functioning. In some societies, especially in Africa, where reproductive health issues are unspoken, the onset of the menstrual cycle may be scary and shaming. It's important to educate and support girls and families regarding this. Track your cycle, understand your symptoms, and listen to what your body is telling you. 
Want more health and wellness insights? Subscribe to Re the Explorer, Life and Learning Hub for more videos like this. Please also like the video and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my videos. Remember to consult your health provider for specific health advice.